welcome back to my channel so today i am talking about the visi arts soleil la plage eyeshadow palette i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correctly but can we just appreciate the packaging first the graphic design on this eyeshadow palette is just you know this is what gets me all the time the visi arts cute packaging I don't own any of the original Visi Arts um, eyeshadow, the one with the clear cover. Um, I'm just not drawn to it. I know the quality is there, but for me, I'm a visual person. I'm a graphic designer, so anything that has a really cute designs on it, you know, it's just, it just gets me all the time. So let's go over the shades first, and then we'll get into the point of my eye makeup look and then um, I'll tell you guys what's on my face and then I'll, of course also give you guys my thoughts and opinions on this palette whether you should or should not be getting this palette so Soleil La Plage um, eyeshadow palette is the same exact size as the Mincette Etendu I believe this is from the Etendu makeup line or makeup collection so this is the Mincette one and this is the Soleil La Plage, the same exact size. So if I wanted to customize my own perfect eyeshadow palette, I can pretty much take any of these out, put it in here, vice versa. So there's that. So the names of these eyeshadows are going to be butchered really horrendously. I'm just gonna let you guys know right off the bat because I can't pronounce any French words. It's just a very beautiful language, but it's so hard to perfect. So the first shade is called uh, Citronade. So the first shade is called Citronade. And I know I'm already butchering that name, but this is a pale lemon with matte finish. So this is a really crumbly shade when swatched. This shade definitely has a lot of fallout. I haven't used it, but it's already given me that um, flaky vibe. So this is supposed to be like a pale lemon shade, but on me, I feel like it looks really chalky and white. It's like grayish white for some reason. Maybe it's just on my dark skin, but that's a really strange color so this shade is called lumiere and it's definitely one of my favorite shades as a highlight this is a creamy yellow highlight with a deep satin metallic finish i find that visi arts shimmery shades performs really nice and opaque and the color just swatches so much better than the matte i had no problem with fallout whatsoever with this particular shade it's definitely one of my favorite shades within this palette. And then next to it, we have this shade called Cove. And Cove is a peachy with a satin metallic finish. This is another no-brainer shade. It's definitely peachy and definitely warmer compared to Lumiere. I love this type of shades so with just all over the lids. It's just a very nice, easy color to work with. And the last but not least, we have this shade called Plage or Pledge. Um, this is a neutral nectarine matte finish and I use this shade for pretty much my base lid color. This color barely showed up on my lids, but it is a great base color to just um, even out my skin tone. So um i'm not mad at this shade i think it can be better but um yeah it's a very nude shade on my eyelids and then going down to the second row we have a pale mirror this is a soft yellow uh, gold with satin metallic finish i really don't have anything bad to say about visi arts metallic shades i think they perform well, when swatched and it just appears really, really nice and smooth on the skin. So um, that's a uh, pale mirror. And then we have this shade called C, which is like the highlight of the palette. 
This is a soft sea blue with dual chrome finish. I decided to use this in my inner tear ducts and I love this shade. Now I'm not sure if I'm sensing a dual chrome effect on this shade, but it is a gorgeous sea blue color that I don't have anything like this in my collection. So this is a very, very unique color to me and I am just pretty much obsessed with it. This color definitely matches the color of the eyeshadow packaging and it's just giving me mermaid vibes. So I love this blue. And then next to it, we have another gorgeous bright summery shade called Parasol. It almost matches my lipstick. But this color is described as red undertone satin with a dual chrome finish. So this is supposedly another dual chrome color. So I'm trying to see if you guys can see the shift of the dual chrome effect, but I really cannot tell. It's just a very slight dual chrome effect, but I just don't see um, a shift in there. And then we have Sun Grown and oh my goodness, I love this color for all over my lids. At first I'm like, this is too mustardy, but then I played with it all over my lids and I'm in love with this shade. So this is described as a gold finch yellow with notes of red dual chrome. I didn't even realize that they decided to put all of these dual chrome shades next to each other but I think it's super gorgeous. All of these shades, I think they will work really well together. I wish that maybe I should have played with the orange on the outer corners. Maybe that might make the look a little bit more unique and um, help tie in my orange lips but then I don't want to do too much. So anyways, I love all of the shades on the second row. Now we're on our final row. The first shade is called um, Ananas. And this is the bright mustard yellow and matte finish. Yeah, so I feel like um, most of the Visi Arts matte eyeshadows, although it feels really smooth on the skin, it blends out really, really nicely on my um, eyelids. But when swatching, it's just very, very patchy but that's like the nature of all matte eyeshadows or most matte eyeshadows besides Pat McGrath but yeah this is a nice matte mustardy color I feel like with this shade you can definitely build this color up and then next to it we have the shade called Bronzage and it's a really strange name um, but this is a perfect bronze nectarine with a satin metallic finish this is a gorgeous color, by the way. So I'm noticing that there's a lot of bronzy, metallic shades in here, and I'm not mad at it. I love um, Visi Arts metallic shades better than the mattes. So this is a gorgeous um, lid shade. Um, I really appreciated that they included two just basic mattes for um, creating a complete look. So this is Raffia, the lighter matte brown. Um, so this is supposedly a sandy medium neutral brown with matte finish and I have that on my crease. And it just helps add definition to my eye makeup look. Yeah, it's not gonna swatch well on my tan skin but this is a great shade just to blend out any harsh lines. And then we have Driftwood. This is described as a warm deep brown with matte finish. And I use this shade on my lower lash line to help complete my eye makeup look. So I hope that my swatches can help you guys decide whether or not you want to purchase this palette. I'm sorry for the sloppy swatches by the way, but this is the best I can do. So anyways, let's move on to my eye makeup look. So for the first shade, I decided to place down Pledge just to help with the transition for the next shade. Um, and then I went in with Raffia on my outer corners and into my brow bows just to help define my eye shape further. 
and then I went in with Sun Grown for my all over lid shade and I am surprised how much I love this shade just an all over lid color it's just a very unique yellow yellowy mustard shade that I think it's really complementary to tan skin tones um, for my inner tear duct I was debating on picking out some boring shades but then um, this blue really caught my eyes so I went in with this shade called C and this is a gorgeous sea blue color that pretty much gives me mermaid vibes so I applied this on with a pencil brush on the inner, inner tear duct and it's gorgeous. I love it. And then for my lower lash line, I went in with this um, driftwood on the outer corner. Lower lash line just diffusing that color uh, by a lot. <laughs> and just, you know, it just helps define your eye shape furthermore. And then I went back in with um, Sun Grown on the center of my lower lash line just to tie in the whole entire look together. And then of course I went in with the mascara and liner and that's pretty much it. I decided to skip on the lashes and, and everything like that. I just want to keep this look as simple as possible and create a realistic look that I am comfortable wearing for the summertime. But when I first initially used this palette, I was thrown off by the bright colors, the odd colors that were in this palette, especially a mustard shade with the sea blue shade. It just threw me off a little bit, but then having a chance to play with it today and combining these two shades on my lids, I think that they work really nicely together when paired so I found a new respect for this palette I would recommend it if you guys are looking for a very sort of summery type of shades and if you're into um, packaging and graphic design as I am I'm a very visual person so um, you can't really go wrong with this palette, especially for the summertime. So yeah, that's my initial thoughts on the Visi Art palette. Now for the Patrick Tars products, I, I tried out the Shape and Wax Clear um, Brow Bar thing. I don't know if I really like it. I feel like it held up my eyebrow hairs for... I want to say a couple of hours. Um, I've had it on for like two hours now and I, and I noticed that my eyebrow hairs are just kind of coming back down. So I don't know if I would recommend this product. Um, and then I noticed the little flakiness um, of the residues that's given me on my brow hairs that I'm not happy with. Um, so yeah, I don't know what the hype behind this and i've never really used any sort of gel um products it was the first one for me um i'm gonna keep playing with it this is my first time using it so maybe i just have to get used to it but yeah i don't know if i would recommend this so i also purchased the double take cream and powder blush in she's so la and I also purchased the cream contour and powder uh, bronze duo and she sculpted it. Um, I do really like both of these. I've only tried out the powder blush for the Shiso LA one and I really like the shade. I think it's a very neutral uh, peachy shade that um, complements my skin tone. I think it's just a little bit tad bit dark on me. But um, I want to keep playing around with the blush duo and I really really like the contour um, duo. I went in with the powder product first on this side of the cheek and then I went in with um, the cream bronzer on top and I feel like it did help contour um, and chiseled my cheekbones a little bit and then for this side I decided to to the opposite effect and just to see the difference between the two and I feel like if you apply powder first and then go with the cream 
contour it just defines it further so um, just do it the makeup artist way um, but yeah I really really like um, both of these I don't care for the packaging um, it's just too reflective if you know what I mean and it has like and it gets fingerprints all over I already sort of damaged the blush a little bit but um, yeah the packaging wise it's like kind of too bulky for my liking but I like the product and then for my lipstick I have on she's not from here and this is the bright orange one I decided to go with something more vibrant for especially the summertime um, I decided to place this color you know very light-handed and then um, tap it out with my fingers just to share this color a little bit more because this is really intense for me especially it is like way out of my comfort zone um, and it looks interesting it has like a texture all around it but it is a very very comfortable lipstick i feel like i have nothing on my lips and it's not drying on my lips whatsoever i just have naturally dried lips you guys so i hope that this video was somewhat useful for you guys i know i'm kind of like all over the place but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye